So the battery's here. The wire's running up inside that raceway, and I have it stubbed out here. I've got plenty of room. Now, if you've never played with this raceway, it's pretty easy stuff. Right. These are just little, they're just little plastic fingers. Okay. And the inside of the race just kind of snaps over top of it, right? Okay. Snap her all back in. It's just a, a way to keep the machines tidy inside. Now, we need to take care of this little guy. Uh, normally, what we would do is um, we're going to take a voltmeter, and I cannot do this. There's just no way I'm going to do this with uh, holding a, a camera at the same time. But you can see this is polarized. And you, know, you can see that the red is on one side, black is on the other. Obviously, 12 is going to be... Um, positive voltage and black is going to be the negative uh, bias. So now when this goes on, it can only go one way. There's a, let's see if I can get a good zoom there. You can see here, there's a piece of plastic on the, on the right side of this clip. Okay. That is where these two little dog legs are going to go. So it has to go, it has to go this direction. So when it goes on there, okay, it's going to snap in and slide all the way down, which means in this case here, okay, the red is going to be on the bottom terminal and the black on the top. So before I do anything here, I just want to verify that this polarity is exactly the same. I'm going to take a regular 12 uh, volt, you know, regular meter. Let's see what I got here. Got a regular meter. Right, set it for DC voltage. Let's turn this on. Okay. DC voltage. All right, it's auto ranging, so you don't have to play with much. Let's uh, right, make sure it's not on hold. And let's see if we can let's see if I can make this happen here. Now let's try something here. If this is a common ground board, I could just go ahead. Ground. Okay. So what I did is I've got my ground lead down here on the uh, on the chassis. Uh, if this is common ground, um, then it will function. Now, if you look at my auto ranging meter, it's kind of gone. And as I touch the red terminal to the bottom, I'll come on down and I'll see I've got about. Oh, about five, six point, point five, point six volts. Okay, uh, the new battery. Okay, I'm gonna check the battery itself. Okay, let me hold this here. Okay, should be. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm wiggling here. Three point three six volts. Okay, so obviously we've got an issue. Uh, but we know that the bottom terminal gives us positive voltage. So what I would do, in this case, because the machine, the battery is already done, and I've already lost the parameters, so I can cut the battery loose and then push this external one on. Um, what I would suggest, if your machine still functions and you're just getting a low battery indicator, I would put the terminal on while the battery is still in place. Okay, just like so. Okay. So I hooked it on. This means that the motherboard has another source of power. Now, I wouldn't leave this on very long. Get yourself a nice, sharp pair of cutters, okay? And let's go ahead and remove this guy. Okay, and let's see here, I'm gonna change hands. I never tried this one-handed before, so let's see. I want to take, and you can see that it's just like a little solder tab on there. And without touching anything else on the board. Okay. Okay, I'm going to cut that loose. That allows me to do, so I've got the wire tie loose and I cut this right side. 
Okay, there goes the wire tie. And I got a little piece of dangling material here. All right, there it goes. So a little snip, okay, and the wire tie. And it flexes. Now it's a little tougher to get on this side because of the post and the connector. Um, I just can't, I usually just kind of rock it back and forth. It's a, it's a metal that will break very easily. It's just a little piece of uh, tab welded on. But now there's nothing in place on the original board. And my external battery here is powering the shell. Now, to check it, we are going to power up the machine. We'll tell it what model it is again, and then we'll power cycle it, see if it remembers.